Ozempic. Oh. We got to go there because okay. I'm getting the question a lot and I want to know what your thoughts are on it. I mean, first of all, wow. Yeah. Like, whoa. Um, it's It's been very helpful to many people who struggled Agreed. with losing weight for a long time. But to me, it brings up such emotions of um, sadness because I'm like, okay, so we are in a society mm -hmm. where our food system is so toxic and the food around us is so bad for us that we need a pill to prevent us from eating it. Yes. Do you realize the situation we're yes, in? Yes, a thousand percent. That is just mad. Yes. And I, my heart goes out to everybody who's felt stuck for so long and for whom this this is a, a solution. Now, a couple things that are really interesting that have come out. First of all, when you lose a lot of weight on Ozempic or any of the other GLP-1 agonists, turns out you're losing fat, but you're also losing muscle mm -hmm. very rapidly. Agreed. And then when you stop it, if and when you stop it, you're probably going to gain weight back and it's not going to be muscle, it's going to be fat. So yes. you might end up in a worse situation. So if you are on one of these medications, also learn how your body works mm -hmm. so that you can adapt your lifestyle habits at the same time. And when you stop, you're in a better place mm -hmm. and you can continue a healthier life. Yep. I think that's so key. And then I also want people to understand how they work. So these medications, there's a hormone in your body called GLP-1. And you know, after a big family dinner, when you're so full, and your aunt is like, Mindy, have more cake. And you're like, no, Aunt Shirley, like, I cannot. I'm so stuffed. One of the reasons you feel stuffed is because of GLP-1. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's a natural hormone we all produce. And these medications like Ozempic, they trick your brain mm -hmm. into thinking there's lots of GLP-1 around. Mm -hmm. GLP-1 is not actually higher. They're just tricking your brain mm -hmm. into thinking there's more. Right. Okay? So you are using a trick on your physiology. Mm -hmm. So that's really important to understand how yeah. it works. What are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, my brain was like, I'm gonna go look up GLP-1 and see what fasting does to it. Because mm -hmm. I know that fasting, when you start to get a ketone, mm -hmm. it suppresses ghrelin. So the hunger hormone goes yeah. away. So every person that I've sat with that has had great success with any of the weight loss drugs, what they tell me is I'm just not hungry anymore. And what my brain interprets that is I, I'm not hungry either. Yeah. Because I've managed this metabolic switch where I'm fasting along with really smart food, putting it together so I don't have these big glucose spikes. Mm -hmm. So I, I, do you, I'm sure you feel the same way. Totally. You can increase GLP-1 naturally, for right. example, by eating in a way that keeps your glucose level steady, by adding fiber to your diet. And I, I, we can talk about it later, but I, I created something that also increases GLP-1 naturally. So it's it, it's possible to tap into this. Yeah. You can fast and regulate your hunger hormones. You can eat in a way that avoids spikes so yeah. that you don't get these crazy hunger pangs right. every couple of hours. But it's amazing that we have, we've had to short circuit our body to be yeah. able to exist yeah. in this food landscape. Yeah. And that's the biggest takeaway I have. Yeah. It's like, you know, I take agree. them, don't take them. That's your personal choice. I have no judgment. Yeah. I'm just like, wow, look where we are. Yep. Thank you. Like, look around. Yeah. Holy crap. Thank you. That's because that's what I feel as well. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's what we're not discussing. Yeah. So everybody there's I, I feel like we've got two sides of the of the conversation. Some people are like, yes, it is the quickest way to create this metabolic shift and get people to lose weight that we're on the path to actually dying. Yeah. And when I look at it through that lens, I go, yep, that makes sense. Give them a pill so they can shift it. Completely. And then and that's a medical use, right? That's, that's yes. different than people who actually are perfectly healthy taking it because they want to lose weight. I, I, it, it's a spectrum, you know, it depends Agreed. on how it's being used for Agreed. sure. Agreed. And then on the other end, I, so I've also been recently diving into this concept of an obesogen. Mm. Um, and I don't know what you know about obesogens, but there are chemicals that you put in that are now put in our food. Uh, a big one is BHA and BHT. Mm. Uh, you can find, just read your labels. You'll see them in there. Aspartame. What about seed oils? Yeah, all the seed oils, yeah. aspartame. Mm. Um, there's a long list of obesogens. But here's what obesogens do mm. is that they hijack stem cells and they make stem cells start to create fat cells. What? Yes. Uh, I'll send you the study. Wow. The one I specifically saw was that it hijacked a stem cell and made it the stem cells that made bone cells in young children this is in you, yeah. it, that it actually makes fat cells instead in, of instead, bone cells, instead of bone cells. Wow, girl, for real? I'll, yeah, I'll, it's a huge, it's a huge meta-analysis that I just discovered two weeks ago. And then I started to think, oh my gosh, like between that and what we know about food creating this dopamine response, we are so food addicted now 
that it's a not the person's fault. This is where I get really upset because I'm like, let's stop looking at somebody who's obese and say they're undisciplined. They have been chemically just, hijacked. Yeah, that's just again another branch of the marketing. That's right from the food industry. Right. If you're sick, it's because you're lazy. That's, That's right. not true. Agreed. Right? Uh, a thousand percent. Yeah. So if people who are listening to this did not get that freaking memo, like get it and understand mm -hmm. that it's time to look at your body through the lens of chemistry. Yeah. Then the second thing that I really think is that it takes all the power away. So when I take a drug and I lose weight, I think it's the drug. I don't give myself any credit. But what you're teaching and what mm. I'm teaching is that I'm saying, we're saying there's this system inside your body that can be regulated if you understand the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. And once you understand the rules of the game and you regulate it and you drop weight, you're the one that gets the credit. Nobody else gets the credit but you. And that <laughs> changes everything in that person's world when they take ownership over their health. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I see what you mean. Yeah, I think agency freedom is so key, right? And then we're back at momentum. Now yeah. I have momentum. I made a smart choice. I, I created a result in my body. I love what I'm looking at in the mirror. My blood work is looking great. And I freaking did that. <laughs> yeah. and, and like I always say that one of the things that blew me away from Fast Like a Girl is I literally thought I was writing a fasting manual. Mm -hmm. But what I have come a year later to determine is that I wrote a women's empowerment book. Oh, that's I, nice. I had no idea because what it did and what you're doing, and mm. I don't know if you see it this way, but the, I got to give you credit too, because what you're doing is you're giving people the power back. For sure. A hundred percent. And that's I think that doing. is so important. Yeah. So, so completely just, agree. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. that's what another mental part of the Ozempic or all the weight loss drugs is that we there's it's like we don't need to go down that path. There's too many other simple things you can do. So. And if you do, it's also, you know, your choice. But yes, I think it's so important to teach people these easy principles that have been obfuscated by decades and decades of marketing messages from the food industry. That's right. I want to give people the power back and the agency back, just like you do. That's Agreed. right. That's yeah. right.